his company. Apparently other problems had come up as well. And we did all the work. We do what we normally do. Um, I had all the evidence. I take him into another room, do the admission-seeking interview, because that's what we want. We want that confession so there is no trial. We just prosecute the guy, throw him in jail. And it really wasn't very difficult to get him to uh, confess. It was actually quite simple. See, most white-collar criminals are so filled with guilt, they just can't stand it, and they're waiting to tell somebody. They're waiting to get it off their shoulders. And Harry was just laying everything out to us, everything. He was just blubbering, blubbering. And it was a sorry sight to see, indeed. But folks, Daniel Wine is not your typical white-collar criminal. You've got to put up defenses in the company to keep that guy out. You don't hire guys like Daniel Wyant. That's how you protect yourselves from Daniel Wyatt. But guys like Harry are working in every company, and you're going to be dealing with guys like Harry. I guarantee you, especially today, and I think in the near term, at least in the next decade, it's going to be tough. And there's going to be a lot of people who have needs and opportunities. They have need of money, opportunities to get it, and all they have to do is rationalize it. And rationalizing is becoming easier and easier the more people are in hurt. The more you see it every night on the 6 o'clock news about people being unemployed. You know, the Occupy Wall Street uh, protests. You know, there, there, are, there are some people in my community, the people I hang out with, that are laughing at that. I'm not laughing. <laughs> I'm not laughing at all. Uh, that's a protest movement that is not going to go away. It's not going to go away. It's going to grow. 